Welcome to the video lecture on time invariance of a system. In this video, we will consider a discrete time system y of n is equal to x of n cos omega naught n. The task is to determine is this system time invariant or time variant. So to begin with, we first we should understand the nature of the system. So x of n is the input. I'll give this to a system of operator h. I'll get the output y of n. So the nature of the system is whatever input I feed x of n or whatever it is x of n x of n minus n naught something like that. So whatever I feed in it multiplies with cos omega naught n and gets you the output. So now if I have fed x of n so it multiplies this with cos omega naught n and gets you the output. So that is what the nature of the system is. So to test for time invariance I'll consider a shift in the input x of n is the input x of n minus x of n minus n naught is the shift in the input. So I'll give this to a system of operator h so that I'll get the output as y of n which is equal to x of n minus n naught. So this is the input. It multiplies that with cos omega naught n and gets you the output. So this is what I get in the first half. In the second half, I'll consider a shift in the output, which is y of n minus n naught. To get that, we already have the expression for y of n. In that, replace every n with n minus n naught, so that I'll get the expression for y of n minus n naught. So, which is equal to x of n minus n naught into cosine of omega naught. Here, I'll find another n. So again that has to be replaced with n minus n naught. So this is what I get in the second half. By comparing these two, we can say that the given system is time variant as they are not equal. Or we can also say that the given system is not time invariant.